Oh. Where is the governor? How did the kid get sick? And now that we have a walker, will anybody find it before it takes anybody out? Those are my questions as we enter season four, episode two of The Walking Dead. What's up, guys? This is the NMD Movies. We watch movies and TV shows for the very first time. If you want to get these episodes early, matter of fact, the next episode is already up on Patreon, then get signed up over there. And big shout out to the Patreon squad. Last episode left us on a hanger. The kid got sick. The kid looked like he passed away, which means he's a walker, which means y'all need to wake up. And we need to watch this episode. Me, you, The Walking Dead, season four, episode two. Let's get it. Oh. We all want things, but what you going to do for it? How you going to move for it? What you going to be? And do you believe we can do anything? Oh my goodness, what in the world? Is that the governor spying on him? The governor spying on him trying to get more people to the more walkers? A handful of people you know. That's it. It's taking a toll on Tyrese. It's taking a toll on Tyrese. I got you. Under my I feel like we're seeing a whole like we're actually seeing his personality this season. Is one of them about to die because they the way they showing them? Don't crash your mouth. Hey, hey, yeah. hey. We start doing that. We're not gonna want to stop. Not just yet. Good night. Oh man, we got the flashlight. Look, ma'am, just go, just go. She about to see that kid's body or about to see him as a walker. Look, they got individual showers now. They didn't upgrade it. They fancy now. Somebody else then got guy. A cough then got you. Oh my God. And nobody still don't know cause he didn't scream. I thought whoever was coughing was gonna scream and that was gonna wake people up. So he still could get, it's Karen, right? I think her name's Karen. She, we still could get, they still could get Karen. So that kid got sick. Y'all saw the stuff coming out of his eyes. So it, something could be contaminated. Whatever it is, we got to figure it out. Everybody has to wake up, wake up, evacuate, evacuate. It's morning and nobody still don't know. Carl. I forget, they're in C block, right? So all hell is broken loose in D block. That's another person coughing. We all contaminated. When can I have my gun back? Worms will give him some extra protein. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Close. Go to work, Michonne. Go to work. Oh, dang. He's grabbing her hair. Look, he grabbed a gun quick. Huh? Rick gonna be mad he got that gun, but he had to. Go! Get out of here! Hold back! Go! 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 Get up! Get back! In the 
Damn, they probably got kids and everything. Stop playing with my boy Daryl. <laughs> Woo, okay, Glenn. Oh, look, he couldn't wait to get, he couldn't wait to get his girl. <laughs> oh, that was the library guy. We clear down here. We're yeah. safe. Yeah. She gonna have to kill him. Has Carol actually killed somebody? Like I know she's killed walkers, but have we seen her like kill somebody? Patrick. Now we gotta figure out how that happened. Something's contaminated. Something's contaminated. The pigs, the worms, the water. Something's contaminated. You ain't gonna be doing no cucumbers and nothing like that. And then now that this happened, who's going to want to go back and live in D-Block? I'm saying, look, I need to sell right by Rick and Daryl. Give me a sell right by them two. Y'all ain't sitting me down there with them people who don't even know how to shoot the gun. It's happening, isn't it? <laughs> Can you look out for them? Like, there you are. Yeah, I can. I will. Mm. Are you going to have to let them say goodbye? Oh, man. He's going to, they're going to go get his kids to tell them goodbye. No bites. No wounds. I think he just died. How could somebody die in a day just from a cold? I had a sick pig. Died quick. Mm. All of us in here. We've all been exposed. Man. I be forgetting Bob's, he used to be a medic. Take care of your sister. We should be the ones. Oh, man. No. Yeah. I can't. I didn't get to know that man too much, but it's just something about his two daughters being in the room with him. I had to use one of the guns by the gate. I swear I didn't want to. That's everyone in that cell block. That's all of us. Maybe more. So this is the council. Can't just wait and see. And there's children. It isn't just the illness. People die, they become. Mm hmm. Think that'll work for Dr. S? I'll help Caleb get it set up. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. You okay? Mm hmm. Oh, man. <coughs> you sure? You don't sound so good. I think it's a flu or something. That's how Patrick died. Judith is in that cell block. She's vulnerable. Died from, we can treat it, right? Don't panic. We're going to figure this out. But we should keep you separated in the meantime. Tyrese ain't gonna like that. David, from the Decatur group, he's been coughing too. Oh, man. I'm worried about Lizzie and Mika. They were around Patrick. Dang it. I'm not even thinking about this. They're gonna be separated until they feel better. You're right. You okay? Mm -hmm. Gotta be. So Rick isn't a part of the council? Wow, it went from this is, you know, it, this is all me to 
We're going to have a council, so I'm not even going to be on it. I'm not going to have guns. Honey, you're weak. You lost your nerve. You have to trust your gut, and you have to act fast every time. That's life and death. Dang. I know I'm sorry. She talking about the walkers. She's talking about the walkers. You're She's messed up. She's not weak. Damn. She's talking about the walkers. And another thing is, look, I understand that. I don't know if that young, she needs to be telling them that they're weak and that they can't do this and that, but I mean, in this world, I guess, you know, you got to know. You got to know. So. All this time you've been taking off, you earned it. We wouldn't be here without you. Nah, it was all of us. No. Nah, it was you first. Those calls you got to make, I start down that road, I almost lost my boy, who he was. Mm. Whatever else this place needs, I'm here for it. Like I said, you earned it. What it's worth, you see mistakes. I see when the shit hits, you're standing there with the shovel. Preach it, preach it. So, so Rick, Rick is dealing with what happened last year. Like you said, he almost lost his boy. Um, the, you know, the 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 not being there mentally, and he hasn't fully gotten over that. So he's not even making decisions. He's not even making decisions, important decisions. But he's saying, look, I can't be here mentally, but I can be here to do the crime. I was wondering why he kept farming and stuff. And he's not a part of the council. <laughs> they about to bust down that gate. <laughs> It kind of seemed like Rick didn't want to kill the walkers at first. He was kind of staring at him. And then at the end, he got revved up. Did you see anything? They just started taking out the dead. Oh, <laughs> look at Judith. They could have gotten hurt. When you care about people, hurt is kind of part of the package. Hurt, vulnerability, that's what comes with it. But you get love. You always cry like that. I think she senses people's needs. I hope Judas ain't sick. I hope Judas ain't sick. Oh, man. Don't. Are you seeing this? There's been dead rats. See, I think, think about it. The governor is weak, so he can't go for a full-on attack. But you throw some rats over there. Oh, my goodness. They got this man's head going through a cage. I can't show that on YouTube, but it's crazy. But look, you pick poke, and that's how the governor will do. He's not going to go for the full-on attack. He's going to pick and poke, pick and poke. It starts with taking down the defenses with the rats. I got those walkers are coming over it. Go and get that gun, Rick. Daryl, get the truck. I know what to do. Go and get that gun, Rick. <laughs> oh, man, that's sad. You know, he's making crosses for the grave, so it's like. Did you tell your dad what you saw in the library yesterday? Mm. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. he's, he didn't tell him. He didn't. I have to keep teaching those kids to survive. Did you tell the parents? No. If I do, maybe after this they'll understand, but maybe they won't. I don't want to take that risk. That's between you and them. Mm. He said, my name Biddy and I ain't in it. I'm asking you not to say anything. That's like lying. Don't listen to her, Carl. Carol, you're being a bad influence. 
I do think that the kids need to start learning at a, a at a early age. But all I'm saying is, I think it, the parents should be involved in it. They should know. Like I send my kids to read books, I don't want to run in there and see knives everywhere. Wouldn't that worry y'all? Shoot. Can you hold her a sec? <laughs> Please, I'm covered in carrots. No. <laughs> Michelle don't like the baby. It's gonna grow on her though. Mm -hmm, look at you. Look at you. Go hug that baby. I think maybe she lost a child. I think that's what it is, maybe. Sometimes I forget we we still learning a lot about even the characters from last season. Even Michonne. All right, hold up. So he's giving the walkers the pigs. Oh man, the squillin's getting to me, man. I just the squillin's getting to me, man. I'm an animal lover. I love the animals, man. This is This man Rick then gone through it. He has gone through it. Four seasons, he's like, how much more can I take of this shit? Carol's been teaching the kids how to use weapons. Mm-hmm. Their parents don't know and she doesn't want you to know. Hey. Good job, Carl. Good job. I think you should let her. I know you're gonna say it's not up to you, but it can be. Salute to Carl. You did. Hey, you did the right thing. You did the right thing. Now we gotta see what Rick's gonna do. Dad, thank you for telling me. I think the proper thing to do is let the council know and we vote on it. Simple as that. I won't stop her. I won't say anything. Look how tall Carl didn't get. The guns are back in town. The guns are back in town. Da doom. Da doom. Doom. She died. She died. Did she get out? I oh, mean, Tyrese brought some flowers. When you br when you bring in flowers in in this type of time, you know you really care about her. She got burnt on fire? That's her bracelet, rock, paper, scissors. We all want things. But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe we can do anything? As always, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to talk about. This is one of those episodes where there was so much that I couldn't really get out what I wanted to say. So if sometimes I stop mid sentence or, or my thought don't even make sense is because so much is happening. I'm trying to put the, put the pieces together. First of all, there's a sickness going around. We think it's the pigs. We don't know how it started, but it happened. We lost some people. We, so we got to figure that out. Rick 
still going through a lot. See, I just assume I'm thinking, okay, coming into this season, you know, he's out there, you know, working the farm. I was thinking Rick was saying, okay, I'm the leader. I'm going to be out here farming just to show everybody that I'm cool. You know, like, hey, it, 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 if I'm following somebody and they're willing to do the dirty work, to me, that's a good leader, right? So I was thinking that's what Rick was doing. Then he found the gun and put the gum gun up. And we we find out that he's not a part of the council right now. He's still worried about what he did last season. He, you know, with the phone calls and, you know, he said he almost lost his boy. He only won't call to be out of his sight. Not only does he want not want a gun, he don't want Carl to have a gun. Mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. So we're still dealing with Rick's mental. He's not all there. But even though he's not all there, like Daryl said, when stuff go down, we can always count on Rick Grimes. Michonne started crying when it got to the baby. So I'm trying to think. I know they mentioned a little bit about her past, but this is where I count on you guys to help me out. If they haven't mentioned anything about her past, don't spoil it yet. But I think she either lost the baby or she had a child that passed away and just hold, just holding Judas all those emotions came up. Um, Glenn and Maggie, they're in lovebird land. I'm pretty sure they about to pop out a baby. They've already talked about it. They're in la la goo 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 ga ga land. So that's, that's, that's what they got going on. Now, Tyrese and Karen. Tyrese was falling in love and was bringing her flowers, but they were burnt alive. Why were they burnt alive? I guess if you have the disease, is that what they're saying? You got to be burnt alive now? Do they kill you first? Or like, do you got to turn? Then they, is that what they're doing? I don't know. That was just, that was just out of the blue weird to me. Like, you know, I thought he was going to look in that cell and she was going to be a walker. I don't know. So that that's, that's weird. And now we've been seeing, oh, I don't want to kill the walkers, Tyrese. Oh, let me stay at your house, girl, Tyrese. Oh, let me bring you flowers. Well, now it looks like Karen is dead. And I bet you he about to snap. I bet you he about to snap. And just like with the Incredible Hulk, when the Incredible Hulk used to snap and Black Widow was the only one who could calm him down, I'm thinking his sister Sasha is going to have to be the one to say, calm down. But the, I don't understand the whole burning thing. I'm assuming it's because of the, the disease. Now, it's kind of like what we in real life went through. Right now, I'm going to use my words very carefully because sometimes if you say what we went through um, when we had to shut down all the restaurants and we had to wear masks, y'all know what I'm talking about? Sometimes when you say the words on YouTube, they like get mad or something. They do something to your video. But I remember during that time when we shut down everything and we had to wear masks, when that, when that when when that first happened, when people would cough, it would be like, uh, uh And everybody would look. So, you know, I kind of know what they're going through. Now you're in a cell. If somebody coughs, it's automatically going to be pointing at them. That's crazy. Daryl, Daryl's doing Daryl things now. Here we go. If you made it to this point in the video, you're a real one. Carol. Is Carol right? 
is Carol Wright. She thinks we need to teach these kids at a young age how to protect themselves. Now, here's my thing with Carol. I agree with you. I think these kids at a young age, we need to be doing martial arts. We need to be doing uh, defense classes. We need to do weapons training. We need to be teaching them how to survive in this world because they are the future. So I agree with you. But I don't agree with how you're going by about it. You're doing it behind people back. You're asking um, Carl not to tell Rick. I'm going to tell you, as a parent, that would that would pee me off more than uh, anything. It's one thing you don't want to tell me, but then now you want to tell my son not to let me know? Come on now. I don't know. I just feel like she's being sneaky, you know, and uh, the one little girl, she's just in denial. You know, she she, she called the walker Nick. She, she, she was more upset to me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, that's, I wanted to ask the question. Do you guys agree with Carol or do you disagree with Carol? Let me know. Uh, and talk about how she's doing it too. Um, it felt like, I think her name is Micah. These new characters is going to take a second for me to learn their names, but it seemed like she was more upset about the Walker getting got, then her dad, I like the way Carl's moving. He told his dad, Carol, he helped Michonne. He, he told his dad straight up. I had to get a gun, but, um, you know, I didn't want to. So is it anybody I miss? We got a doctor, Dr. S he's going to be important and we see why he's going to be important. You know, if I missed anything, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm out. Peace.